Welcome back everybody, I am Just Zach, and today we're going to have a look at Maze Slide or Slide Maze, a game that was made in exactly 7 days, a small one that is also free to play, link is as always down in the description, and this is a game, a roguelike game so to speak, based on the board game Labyrinth. Labyrinth? Labyrinth? You can tell I can beautifully pronounce that. So without further ado, there's no settings menu. Music is surprisingly quiet. I wrapped it up all the way I can for you guys. I hope you can hear something. But besides that, no settings menu. Let's jump into the game. I like this art design already. Okay, we have zero coins. There's a dagger for health. Three something. Stage three, I don't know. Or this is probably the level one bastion. We can also pause the game if we want. Fair enough. Get a bit of like... Um, you know, uh, the mobile or tablet design, fair enough. Okay, so we're moving here. I think all we can do in this game is just move by WSD somehow. So I'm pressing W. Okay, that's how we move. That's our movement. Okay, so... Alright, so this is the amount of movement we have. And every time we do this, or we fill this bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, the labyrinth moves. Can we move it on our own? What's this? Oh, we can! Okay, okay, got it. So this is our movement before enemies move. And this is what we do. Should I have attacked the skeleton? There's a key there as well. Okay, let's just do this first. Let's. Oh, okay, every time we move, they move as well. So actually a little bit more traditional roguelike in that sense. Okay, we have a potion. This gave us one life. Got it. What is this? I'm going to pick this up. That damaged us for one. That, that actually looked like an item. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, yeah, there's spikes here. I don't want the spikes. Okay, how can I move forward? Can't move this, I can only move these and that. What if I move myself? Does that help me in any other way? Can do this, now, and now I'm outside. God, I played Labyrinth, I think I still have it, but I played this as a kid, man. I'm. It's like a bazillion years. Oh man, I kinda brought me into a hassle here, haven't I? Okay, this worked. Treasure. So should I attack the orc? Probably not. Oh, I might not do it. Let's fight. Okay. Oh, you did three damage to me? And if I attack you, I probably be. Let's just do it. No, we won. Okay, we attacked first. How did that one deal three damage to us? Okay. Wow. Well, that happened. So how the hell... Okay, if I move you down. Yes. This is... No, this is how we no, cannot reach. Wait, I just do this? Oh, we don't have movement! Oh no, but what happens if I just waste my turn, so to speak? Let the labyrinth move. Okay, cool. There's a goblin right here. That's a problem. Can take. Okay, he's not going to us. I'm gonna move this. Problem is he's there as well. Okay, we have the key. We probably need the key to get outside. There's treasure here. Should we always try to get the treasure? What is the stopping hand meaning? So many questions. All right, we have a straight way to the exit. Problem is, there's a bunch of enemies and we don't really have a way to deal with this, right? So, what do we do here? How do we do anything? Oh no, I need to get over there. So the idea would be to slide over there and run away. Oh, why, why can't I move to the left side? Because that's out of border, I suppose. If I do this and do it again, can I pick up? Oh, I wanted that shield! Uh, whatever. Take the money. 25. Oh, man. I can't defeat the slitch thingy. Oh, no. I move you down. The red is out of the picture. There's a ghost. I think we can deal with a ghost. Let's go down because we attack first, right? There we go. Give me the shield. We have two armor. Cool. Is that enough to deal with the red? Let's find out. Okay, one armor down. Got the red. Beautiful. So there's no XP. So defeating enemies is mostly just to, well, get past them. I wonder what that stop hand means, but also we want to get to the exit somehow. What if I move down twice? There, there, we're at least close at the, to the exit, and then it's going to move anyway. You know what, let's take the risk. We're here now. I'm going to move just to the right. Okay, moves like this. Moves like Jagger. I could move you down, then we're in front of the goblin. We, I think we have a chance to defeat this goblin. Let's go. Let's risk it. But if the others attack us, we're down. Okay, we've won. Oh god, if this moves up. Let's go. Okay, we're so lucky. I really want to find out what the hand is about. Anyway, let's just go up. We made it to the exit. And we have a shop. Nice. 
So is this a choice or do we just, we have a free dagger. Do I just attack one? Extra health, 14, attack bonus. And a dagger, what if I... Okay, okay. Shop. Um, again, this is a game made in seven days. Um, I would still recommend to just tell us that we can only take one uh, for the shop, but... I mean, once you do it, you just notice it, right? And the presentation and, you know, the gameplay is very easy to pick up. I like this. Also, like, how it slides and so. Pretty cool so far. Okay. Let's... Oh, I can't move to the left. So we are stuck for now. So the question is, how do we deal with everything going on? There's the exit. There's the key. Can I just... Okay, we are here now for reasons. Is this how we start on the board always? So I guess I don't want to pick this up. That seems to be just a trap and nothing else. So we have two more movements. How do I deal with the movement? I could be here. What if I move this down first? Does this help me? No, not really. Oh man, I have no idea. Let's just go. So we are here. We could move up one more. You know what? Sure. But now we can't really move. There's a ghost, which I actually don't want to deal with at all. So we are stuck here with the ghost. Bear with actually two ghosts. Oh, and then, of course, ghosts can move through walls. Makes sense. Okay, we have the stop symbol now. Don't know what that does. We have an attack bonus. And we have three more movements for our character and for the labyrinth. This slime just placed something, or whatever this is, placed something on the ground. Great. This kind of looks like, you know, a one of these cookie monsters. I don't know, from Shrek, the cookie thing. Mm, there's the key. I want to move. Let's just... Stop. What did the, the stop do? One of them was used for reasons. Okay, we have the key. Beautiful. And now... I can move back. I used one of my stops. Maybe it just freezes enemies for three turns. We have armor. Beautiful. We're still down to one HP, by the way. Good that I noticed that. I'm actually gonna move this because I want the ceiling potion. Beautiful. Back to three. That thing looks dangerous. But of course, the question is, how the hell... Do we get to the exit? We have two more slides. What if we just slide all the way? I can't move up. And just, you know what? Yeah, let's move up. Slide this here. Gonna go down. Slide this. I'm actually gonna fight the ghost. There we go. Did it. Down. Oh! I, uh, almost. Whatever. We have enough sliding, right? Slide. Down. Exit. Beautiful. Okay, shop. I wonder what happens if we take this free thing. Extra moves. Is that important? What is free? But we have so much money, so I guess we always want the attack bonus, right? Let's take this. So technically we have double attack bonus now. Can't really see that we deal three damage, but I think this is how it works in my opinion. Alright, I'm gonna go over here, move you up so we enter like the main lever in the- Oh, treasure chest! Gimme! Oh, how dare you moving! Okay, I want treasure. Give me a bunch of coins. Okay, I want to fight. Actually, I want to see because I technically I think we should deal three damage now. We did not for some reason, even though I picked up double the attack bonus. Maybe these things are just stronger. What if we fight a red? Still just one damage. Are you? I mean, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. In my opinion, how I understand it, we should be able to deal three damage. Even if taking the same upgrade twice didn't work, we should at least deal two damage because we have an upgrade, right? Or is this just like telling us that this club is better dealing more damage than the dagger? So I bought two clubs even though I already had one. Maybe that's how it works. That's not quite clear to me. I thought that was just a, you know, a symbol signalizing that we do deal more damage. But maybe it's just, you know, and we don't have a dagger. A dagger is always free. It's the worst weapon. And now we have a club. But the club also just deals one damage. Like the dagger. Hmm. We could pick up this stuff or we could just... Get out of here! To the exit. A ranged attack, okay. So that's different, so we don't have a club anymore. The question is, of course, how do we range attack? I guess that means they don't attack back. So I guess I can now choose my entry point? Yes. Okay, money. Like my money. Money key. Beautiful. Where's the exit? Right there. How do we get to the exit? We could make a run for it somehow. No, wait. Go up. This down. Exit. Oh, come on. Let me move. There we go. Beautiful. Attack bonus. Break walls. But this does this replace our arrow? 
Ah, it does. Okay. But now we can actually break walls like this. That sounds very powerful. It takes three movement. But still, bong. No! How dare you move? Treasure. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. So what happens if we actually die? Let's see. Key. I want to see. I guess we... Oh, yeah. There we go. Back to dagger. Back to level one. But now it's the abyss, so to speak. All right. Honestly, pretty cool for a game made in seven days. I think this actually has a potential to be a like successful small indie game, like just with more content and you know more time. But this is very cool for if, if really seven days. This is feels very good. This is, has a good gameplay loop. Again, just of course we have like three or four or five weapons and just one equipment slot. But the essentials are completely here. Yeah. Double thumb, uh, thumbs up. And of course, you can just um, play this for free. Link is in the description, guys. Please tell me what you think of the game. Please tell me what you think of my presentation. Stay awesome. And we'll see each other in the next video.